Well, Malcolm X wanted to be involved, so he splits from uh, the Nation of Islam and goes independent. But this is what he said in early 1964. And it's about this issue of soul force. He says, I am one who doesn't believe in deluding myself. I'm not going to sit here at your table and watch you eat with nothing on my plate and call myself a diner. Sitting at the table doesn't make you a diner unless you eat something, some of what's on that plate. And here's the kicker. Being here in America doesn't make you an American. Being born here in America doesn't make you an American. Why, if birth made you American, you wouldn't need any legislation. You wouldn't need any amendments to the Constitution. You wouldn't be faced with civil rights filibustering in Washington, D.C. right now, because when he's speaking, this is March 1964, the civil rights bill is being hung up by a segregationist filibuster. He says, no, I am not an American. I'm one of the 22 million black people who are the victims of Americanism, one of the 22 million black people who are the victims of democracy, which is nothing but disguised hypocrisy. So I'm not standing here speaking to you as an American or a patriot or a flag waver or a flag saluter. No, not I. I'm speaking as a victim of this American system, and I see America through the eyes of the victim. I don't see any American dream. I see an American nightmare. What he's saying here is he doesn't believe that the American dream is going to deliver for African Americans because the United States was founded on white supremacy. It's intrinsic to the system. It will only be combated when African Americans mobilize, as Malcolm X said, power against power. We're not going to convince the white segregationists to accept us. We have to build our own forces until they have no choice but to recognize our demands. And that's power. 